Setting out in business on the Chinese mainland is fine, but now to make some money. Jeremy Nye of PricewaterhouseCoopers has advice for small and medium-sized companies. The perception is that the tax rate in China is high and the rules are very complex. How would you comment on that, particularly where it comes to foreign companies? I think that the statement is like in general correct, okay, when particularly when compared to low tax jurisdiction like uh, Hong Kong or, or Singapore. In terms of like corporate tax rate, the current standard income tax rate in China is 25%, which I would say will be in the middle when compared with most of these major trading partners of China. However, when we talk about like individual income tax, the top marginal tax rate can reach like 45%, uh, which will consider to be very high, okay, even in developed countries' standard. For doing business in China, besides the corporate income tax and also the individual income tax we, we just mentioned. There are also like other 23 different other types of taxes okay, to be imposed on, on uh, foreign, foreign investors. It was thought that foreign SMEs had an advantage where it came to tax in China, but that's not true today, is it? Yes, yes, you're correct. Uh, in, in the year 2008, okay, China uh, has Im implemented a major corporate income tax reform under which the two separate sets of income tax law, one applicable to domestic company and the other applicable to foreign investment enterprise, are combined into one. And under the old rules, foreign investors are given, were given a uh, different tax incentive, okay, like income tax holiday on the production enterprise or income tax holiday on export-oriented enterprise. However, most of these tax incentives were abolished since the new income tax reform. The incentive is shifting from manufacturing or export-oriented to more like high-tech like industry or environmental like conservation industries. So what's the sort of strategy that you undertake to reduce tax and keep those profits? I think Hong Kong will be paying a very important role and would be a good platform for tax planning in, in China. First of all, from investment holding structuring perspective, given Hong Kong has entered into a very favorable tax treaty with China, so by using Hong Kong as the location to set up investment vehicle for investing into China will be a very good option, okay? Because under the China-Hong Kong tax treaty, it offers very preferential like a withholding income tax rate in terms of like a passive income like dividend, uh, royalties or interest. And also because of the income rate differential between Hong Kong and China. In Hong Kong, the tax rate would be 16.5%. In China, would be 25%. That also offer opportunities for like a foreign investor to restructure their operation model by shifting more high value added functions to, to Hong Kong. When it comes to the renminbi, that can now be traded out of Hong Kong, and presumably that means there can be an advantage if you want to bring your profits out of China. The foreign exchange control in China for what we call the current account item uh, has been like uh, greatly relaxed uh, over the past years. So basically, there are no major restriction for like a Chinese company to repatriate cash out of China by way of trade settlement or by way of dividend interest or, or service fee. Resources, technology and expertise are said to be the elements that you need as a foreign company in China, but do you also have to be more competitive and hold down those labor costs? In the past, okay, most of these foreign investors, they are operating in the coastal regions, but as the coastal regions has like, uh, almost fully developed, the operating costs keep on increasing over the past years. So I think the reason and the future trend by keeping like, costs down in China maybe is to move into the central and western regions of China. And also, like as a measure or a policy to attract foreign investors to invest into the central and western region in, in, in China. Certainly choose central and western China where it comes to manufacturing and perhaps retail, but what about services? Could it be dangerous if you're out there in lower level cities? Of course, like currently, the state, like a uh, government, like a uh, uh, like uh, does not offer a lot of like uh, provincial treatments, okay, for the consulting like uh, business. But having said that, I still think the western and the and the and the western parts of China will be the going engines of China in the future. So there will still be a lot of opportunities for like professional consultants there.